So you've begun to learn the power of E6. You've been traumatizing innocent people in the park with the French defense, and everything seems to be going well. But there's a problem. Some people play D4. Don't worry. I'm going to teach you how to beat this move so easily that you'll never want to play white again. If you can muster your undivided, yet severely impaired attention for the next three minutes, you'll be as good as Nakamura thinks he is in no time. Start your clock and strap in for episode two, boys, because this one is going to be a little bit tricky. The Nimzo Indian Defense this is your ace in the hole. This opening is so egregiously overpowered that there is literally an entire branch of opening theory dedicated to avoiding it. So pay attention. The Nimzo Indian goes like this. White plays d4 expecting d5. You play e6 and white plays c4 anyway because the only opening they ever learned is the queen's gambit. Develop your knight to f6, then they play knight c3. When this happens, pin the knight with bishop b4. If they play e3, just castle and attack their center with c5. If they take it, take the knight, triple up this idiot's pawn and start making obscene gestures because you're officially winning. If they don't take it, play d5. They will castle, then develop your knight. If they attack your bishop, take their knight and then take the c-pawn and go for the fiancoda like this. Remember forcing moves from this video? Of course you do. But wait, I can already hear you thinking to yourself. What if they take one of my pawns in the center before I'm ready? What do I do? Recapture them. Imbecile. If they aren't scared of you, they will play queen c2, protecting the knight. Here, just castle. They will probably attack your bishop. If they do, take the knight. They will recapture with a queen because they don't want double pawns. Play b6, then bishop b7, and you get to this position. You can develop like this if you enjoy unflavored porridge and other uninteresting shit. Or you can attack their queen and go for a rook lift like this. The world is your lobster. Moving on. If they develop normally like this, attack the center with c5. If they don't take it, you'll end up in a better position like this. Or this. However, if you're playing someone with a rating higher than your resting heart rate, they will take it. Move your knight to the edge of the board like this. I know I told you to always move towards the center, but this is a special occasion, so enjoy it while you can. <sighs> oh, <yeah. clears throat> if they play a3, take the knight and you have a way better position. Usually they will fianchetto. When they do, recapture the pawn and counter fianchetto. From here you can do whatever you want. You have active pieces and a solid structure. What more do you want from me? The anti-Nimzo Indian. A lot of people have been wrecked by the Nimzo Indian, so they will try to avoid it like this. I can already smell you sweating. There is no knight on c3 to pin, and you're out of book on move 3. Calm down. Play b6, fianchetto, and develop normally like this. Go for d5. If they take it, recapture. If they bring the knight here, play knight d7. After the knight takes, recapture with the queen. And you're slightly better because white wasted three of their eight moves on a knight that is now dead. If they play queen a4, you can bait them with a free pawn like this. They will take it. Then you can recapture and play rook c8 to win your pawn back. Easy peasy. Half the time, white will be stupid enough to play e4, and you're right back to the French defense. If you're wondering what the French defense is, you've missed the first day of class, and you're already behind. Watch the beginning of the series here, right now, or people in the comment section will make fun of you. And that's how you use e6 against d4. Hit them with the Nimzo Indian and collect your free rating points. Subscribe to the channel for the next video. Turn on notifications to declare your undying allegiance and ostracize yourself from others by constantly recommending this channel at inappropriate times. New videos coming out very soon. I'll see you next time.